right? The snake card. There is some, I hear the Capricorn. There's some, maybe there is a fake love and a true love here. And maybe both of them seem to be similar. I can't believe we're at 11 minutes already. 12 minutes. All right, so let's continue moving on. Five of Cups, yeah. There's some energy here where maybe family is involved. There's an energy here where maybe family is involved or some type of a competition or corruption in some way in the like in the background maybe what people are saying about you people may be saying you are into you're not into that kind of gender you're into the same people so this person could be hearing things about you or you're hearing things about this person and some of you have a karmic mother or karmic energies around you yeah 11 you should these people you should stop listening to them if they're your own people stop listening to them and find your own way follow your own heart into your own fulfillment You're, you are someone's wish fulfillment like some of you this is your family that you're about to start but there there's this debris energy of a snake and someone is talking about you saying you're the you're a l word you know you're into the same person that's i keep hearing that this person is saying that about you this person may be green with envy or rich or they, um, they envy your richness or your wealth or your independence or your soulmate. This person, they envy how someone actually loves you. That's what's up. The snake in the Eden garden envied. That's why it wanted to go and create a separation. Sun card, that's the truth coming out. That, and, and that is why... This is a test too because you and like so Adam and Eve really, really loved each other for real. They were really being faithful, honest, loyal, authentic. They were really building together in a real positive way. And Snake watched that, admired that and envied it. Why? It's reminding me of um, someone got pricked or, you know, poisoned. It's reminding me of Tangled. And snake would be that witch that wanted something off, maybe the feminine vibration. She wanted to feel like her, look like her, walk like her, have two hands like her, have two legs like her, have long hair, um, feel fantastic, feel feel like she can run through the garden and eat fruits and talk to the birds. But snake couldn't do that. So there's a Capricorn. There's someone. That they keep low-key watching your lifestyle with your person or the person that's interested in you. High school or home. This person knows that someone was making a home for you and wants to get you. And this person knew that something was set in stone. Like someone was about to come and propose to you. And it made them, it made them panic more. Because you were about to get something even more. Like kingdom energy. Like God was preparing for you a kingdom like literally a kingdom, a house, and you walk in it and it's a whole kingdom for yourself. That's what God was making for you. Divine feminine energies too. Exactly. 33. God was preparing you for this level. A new house, a new car, a new bima, a new steadies, a new bends, a new life, a 33 energy, your, your, your mates for life. You, you and this person were to give birth to a master seed. And this master seed would have been the, the son of some of the something of the times, and and the snake knew that some snake knew that. I hear injustice. I hear justice, but they felt like they weren't gonna get anything, or they were gonna just be left alone. Something like someone felt that way. So let's move on again. And someone cannot compete with you or take your money, but they've been trying. I think Snake turned Eve into a warrior princess. That's what Snake turned Eve into. When when you found out the truth, I keep there's a Capricorn in your life though. When you found out the truth, this could be your like your ex's family members that wanted to push you away because your ex was was wanting to marry you, propose to you, move you in the house and take things to the next level with you, commit to you. They saw how devoted and in love someone was with you. They saw how this person look at you, dream about you, talk about you, the lengths that this person will go for you. So someone was thinking that you are you victored over them even though you weren't competing. 
They just thought that you came in and took their person's place, like their son's place, you, you, their place in their son's life or their brother's life. Or their, I hear their husband's life. All right. Because even this could be like an ex of your person that thought for sure that they and your person would get married. And they thought your person would like choose them all the way. But your person is like serious about you. They're, so they're seeing that someone is really committed to you, loyal to you, in love with you, infatuated with you, desiring you, can't stop talking about you, obsessed with you. That's what they saw. And this person was standing there looking like, so what about me? I, I need to go for a ride by the mountains. Something like that. Okay? So someone was trying to compare themselves to you. But you were, you were just being you and receiving all of this. You were receiving everything that this person been doing for you. Preparing for you. Obsessively in love. Like a, like, um, one of the, like a youthful kind of love. Excited. This person, they, when they meet you. I'm getting a father energy here. Like a priest. But still, Father, Divine, when they meet you, they feel or, or met you. They felt like, for real, like you were the one for them. They're like, oh my God, Mom, I met this girl. She's the, she's the girl of my dreams. And they mean it for real. They're not just saying it fantastically. They mean that you are the one of the, they are the you are their everything. They're like, I can't believe, you wouldn't believe how awesome she is. You wouldn't believe how amazing. And they just keep talking, talking, talking. At first, when they started to talk about you, their their parents or their friends were excited. They were like, yo, calm down. But as the days and the weeks and the months go on, and you were, they were still so excited about you, in love with you, obsessed with you, it started of like wearing on this person. This person started to get into the connection. They wanted to know more. They were getting stressed. They were getting anxious. They started to get snake-like. They started to feel bothered. They started to feel like all this person is talking about is you and all they're thinking about is you. This person wanted to get you, you know, having baby with them, marrying them, and they wanted to take you away into their kingdom with them. But I feel it was stopped. It was broken. I'm also getting a curse is broken. And you're about to like. I'm hearing you rose. Like you, you rose up. You're about to be broken free. Set free. And I know this person is on way to you. And they're coming with a lot of truth. They're coming ready to spill the beans about everything. Because someone is determined to have you back. And not let you go. And not mess something up. Someone who wants to be authentic with you. Real with you. They're not going to be afraid or not going to hesitate anymore they don't care this person they don't care about what anybody think or say or do because all they do is dream about you think about you they that's what's up for our swords 